In other news, the opening of the 22nd National Assembly was officially celebrated on Monday, which has been long overdue. Lawmakers vowed to fulfill their duties for the people. Our National Assembly correspondent Ishi, who walks us through what's to come next. On Monday, the 22nd National Assembly officially celebrated its opening over three months into its term, and 300 lawmakers were finally sworn in. 국회의원의 직무를 양심에 따라 성실히 수행할 것을 국민 앞에 엄숙히 선서합니다. Speaker Uwanchik delivered celebratory remarks and said he hoped the event would serve as an opportunity for representatives to reflect on the past three months and also recollect their determination in working for the people. National Assembly will do all it can to achieve its mission to protect the people and move forward into the future. Wu vowed that rival lawmakers would work together to tackle immediate pending issues, such as surging deepfake sexual exploitation cases and the worsening of extreme weather conditions. In the long term, the Assembly will work to alleviate population issues amid the low birth rate and aging society. The ceremony was initially scheduled for early July, but was postponed amid bickering between the rival parties over pending issues. Monday's event marks the longest wait for an opening ceremony since a constitutional amendment in 1987 that consolidated democracy in the country. Meanwhile, President Yoon song yeol did not attend the ceremony, as according to an official at the presidential office, he awaits the normalization of parliament where opposition lawmakers have been unilaterally pushing for certain bills, calling for a special prosecutor and the impeachment of nominated officials. Prime Minister Han duk su along with other key members of the cabinet, attended the ceremony. Also invited were people from all walks of life, including small business owners, scientists, firefighters, medical workers, and the descendants of ethnic Koreans who resided in former Soviet Union states in Central Asia. Monday also marked the beginning of the Assembly's first 100-day regular session. Coming up first in this are speeches by rival bloc leaders, questioning of government officials, and further potential bipartisan negotiations on livelihood bills as the lawmakers prepare for an inspection of government ministries and departments next month. Yi Shi Hu, Arirang News.